What is going on, UFC fans? Cloudsy420 here today, baby. We're going to come at you with a select blaster again because I'm going for that whole damn set. Let's do that. This week in the UFC, we had Jan and Aljo run into each other in Dubai, which is kind of cool. They had a little handshake, sort of buried the hatchet, said good luck, and they were on their way. Cool shit. like to see it. Also, we had Dana White and Aldo have a little uh, communication on the phone, and they're like uh, just sort of being friends and stuff like they really like each other. It was outside of business and stuff. They're talking about their lives and stuff. And Aldo was like, you could pay me, a, couldn't pay me a truckload of money. I'm fighting MMA in the UFC and that's it. So, and Dana was like, you know what? This is your home, bud. You can have it whenever you want. You can use the Institute, whatever. Just showing respect, love for those guys. Wicked. Then we had my, uh, not my boy, but Jeff Neal pulls the gangster shit, baby. The gangster shit to me is calling out the baddest motherfucker in the room, Nate Diaz style. And Jeff Neal calls out Shavkat Rachmanov. In fucking saying, that's the gangster shit in my opinion. Nobody wants to fight Shavkat and Jeff Neal's like, you know what? Fucking send him at me, baby. Send him at my ass. And in my opinion, guys, now Colby, he's going to end up fighting Jemayev. Am I wrong on this? Like... At 170, who who is there to fight Chimaev? It's going to be Colby, and the UFC is probably going to pay him an ass load of money to do it. So in my opinion, I'm thinking Colby should just get that fucking mic out and start talking some shit. Fucking sell that shit. Get on the mic and be like, fucking Chimaev can't keep up with this fucking porn star wrestling shit. You know what? Fucking come shot Chimaev, little fucking nerd and virgin. You can't take this shit, you know? He's going to get on there and fucking pull that shit. Sell it. I was like, fuck, he's going to make you fight him anyway. Why the fuck not? Just get on there and make your money. Talk that shit. We knew Colby could fucking talk it, so let it fly. Now's the time. I mean, he did it to Masvidal, too. I mean, he was his buddy, so why the fuck isn't he just talking some mad shit on fucking Chimaev? Fuck that shit. Then we got uh, Glover, Prohaska, or Glover and Yuri Prohaska. They're fucking fighting. They're booked for UFC 282. That should have been booked long-ass time ago because that was a fucking badass fight. You just want to see a fight, go watch friggin' Glover Teixeira and Yuri Prohaska. That is sick as shit. And then we got uh, UFC 280 next week, guys. That shit's stacked as fuck. That's the most stacked card of the year, in my opinion. That is bottom to top fucking bangers. Hell yeah, guys. I can't wait for that shit. This week we got uh, Gracio and Arujo, I think. That's tomorrow night. But I'm excited for 280. I'm going to watch tomorrow night's, but 280, I'm down, baby. That's going to be so fucking sick. And right after that, we got Izzy and... Uh, Oh, uh, Peta, fucking sick. Can't wait for that. Anyway, guys, let's get into this box. I'm sick of acting like a psycho for, you know, I'll stop acting like a psycho. Okay, we got this. Let's go. Let's go. You know what daddy wants? Give me the fucking elephant, baby. Give me an elephant O'Malley. Let's make it happen, baby. Sugar show. We're going to be fucking swinging next week. Let's do that. Let's go. Pack one, guys. Four packs, six cards as always, guys. Let's do it. We got Aljo fighting TJ next week. I don't know what to think of that. Well, actually, I do want to think of that. I think fucking Sterling's in a ragdoll, motherfucker. That's what I think is going to happen. He's going to beat his ass. Volk, fucking he's, I guess, going to be a backup fighter for 280. So if Oliveira or Makachev doesn't show up, we're going to see Volk go at her. I think he's going to have a lot of problems with either of those two. I don't think he's got much of a chance in hell to do that, but it's respect to him for giving her a rip. Rich Franklin, and we got, oh, fuck, baby, you know daddy's a fucking DS collector. Let's do that. Let's do that. Daddy doesn't have that <laughs> fucking tricolor prism, Nate Diaz. Ho! Banger City, I call that shit a big hit. Let's go. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Next pet. What we got. Islam Akachev, there he is, fighting Oliveira next week. That's a badass fight. I don't know what to think. I'm not even going to fucking, I want Oliveira to win, think Makachev's going to win, but probably going to bet on Oliveira because he was a 3-1 to one dog. I'm like, you fucking shitting me right now, 3-1 to one dog? I don't fucking think so. Neil Magny, uh, Deplessis, he's got a fight coming up too. Forget who it's against. And we got uh, Pavia. Rookie card, the premier level, silver. Not bad, don't collect that, but don't have it, so it'll go on eBay, guys. It'll be up on eBay. We got next, 
fighting Jake Paul, Anderson Silva, the Spider Baby, taking Silva all day. That's who's fighting tomorrow night against Gracio. So I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. I think Gracio's awesome, but you know, she's got a chance for sure. DP Premier level. Poirier Chandler coming up too. Another fucking banger. Lee Jin Lang. Rookie card. Boy's got some power. He's had a little rough go lately. He had to fight Chemayev. Got fucking ragdolled. And then he fought uh, Rodriguez, I think. And lost a fucking stupid decision. I thought Lee won, but you know how the judging goes. <clears throat> On to the next. Well, oh, Cat's coming to hang out. We got shit down here. So, yeah, here comes... Shavkat Rachmanov, there he is, that bad some bitch. Jeff Neal with the gangster shit, yeah it is, take him out. Gotta have respect, I mean, what's more important, your popularity with the fans or your ranking? I think O'Malley proves uh, just popularity with the fans, same with Connor. Uh, Fazeev, my fucking boy in my PC, Aspinall, always, I think that's four times these two have come in a pack together. Aspinall and Rashad Evans, Silver. Fucking legend. I think it was UFC Ultimate Fighter 2, I think he won. Something like that. Two packs left, guys. Two packs. Give me something, baby. Desanos. Base. Oh, Jesus. Shamil. Rookie card. He's got a fight coming, too. Oh, Octagon side. All Joe. I'll go up on uh, eBay and All Joe lot. I think I got some All Joe rookie cards and a bunch of parallels and shit. Throw them all together. Oh, and that'll go on my PC, baby. Valentina. Was it 84.1 significant strike percentage? Pretty fucking impressive. That's my girl. That girl. Got a couple good ones for my PC. Take that shit. And last pack, guys. Last pack. A little trouble there. Oh, shit. We got her. There's another orange in here. Sweet. Panty. Rookie card. Got a ton of those. Darren Till, he's just calling out, yeah, Bo Nickel. Probably not the smartest move, but eh, do what you gotta do, bud. Stipe, the fucking heavyweight goat. And the last card, let's go, let's go. Oh, I saw Sean and I thought it was fucking O'Malley. Oh, well, Brady, rookie card, orange flash. I'll go on a Brady lot. Anyway, guys, that's another box for me down. Might be back tomorrow with a mail day after the UFC, before the UFC. I don't know. I'll do something. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good shit. I'm out. Peace.